there are two ways to have. By manipulation or allowing. Allowing is the spiritual way. That is, you allow the laws of the universe to bring what you want to you. Versus, you fight with the world and manipulate it to have what you want. The problem with that is, you isolate yourself from the enormous powers that you cannot tangibly see. It is going against the flow. Therefore, it is a long and hard battle. With the high possibility of failure. Have you ever tried to force a relationship? By chasing the person and compromising yourself to have them? I am guessing it didn't end well. If not, then this next example will surely resonate. We all have experienced this. You are really good at doing something, like painting or playing an instrument. But the moment a stranger comes in, you become self-conscious and start messing up. Because self-conscious means, fading of the subconscious mind and dominance of the conscious mind. Your breathing is being handled by the subconscious mind. Try to breathe all day consciously, and you will know the enormous concentration it takes. Same goes with any bodily function. Now, what is the subconscious mind? It is a set of programs in scientific terms, which work as the autopilot mode of your life. And in spiritual terms, it is the divine program inside you. The divine link that transcends your human limitations. It is capable of everything. But it follows your conscious mind's directions. It is meant to do things that are beyond the faculty of our conscious mind. It is even called the deep mind or the majority of our mental power that is not understood by science yet. Simply because of its miraculous ways. A miracle that can be understood is not a miracle at all. Thus, this faculty is shrouded in mystery. Yet nobody denies its immense power. What I have learned through my personal experience is this. The more I trust my subconscious mind in my life, the easier my life gets. The more I build lovely self-beliefs like, money always comes to me, I am loved and adored, I am safe and secure. These lovely set of beliefs begin to play out in my life. Now imagine, if I tried to do it all consciously. I would have to chase a girl to be loved. I would have to drop CVs everywhere for work. Chase money and opportunity. Basically, try to manipulate the laws of the universe and exhaust myself in the doing of it. And guess what, I have been there. This was me a few years ago. Part of the reason why I started studying deliberate creation and how reality works. Because manipulation of reality was leaving me exhausted and in bad health. I even started failing at things that I was previously good at. You see, the less you trust your subconscious mind, the more you isolate yourself from the higher powers of the divine, universe, God, infinite intelligence, or whatever you want to call it. Conscious mind has very limited knowledge of what is going on in this existence. It bases its decisions on what it predicts from the past data. Hence, it is practically blind to any new possibilities that do not seem plausible from rational thinking. You may never even know how you will be healed. That cure may not even exist yet. A man down and out with nothing in his bank is practically done. In that state, his conscious mind is pretty much done. So, it can't conjure up any good ideas. For example, I felt very caged a few years ago. I was stuck in seemingly unchangeable circumstances that I desperately wanted to escape from. Looking back now, I laugh at how my conscious mind magnified those wooden prison bars that I could have just busted out of from. Metaphorically speaking. I haven't been to prison yet. The point is, I was so low consciously that the problem seemed like things that I can never escape from. I tried all I could to manipulate it. And failed at all of it. Then I gave up. Completely. Because I was lucky enough to have this notion pop up in my mind. That if nothing is working, then there is something wrong with me and not the world. I need to change myself and not the world. And it led me to understand how reality works. And it lifted the blindfolds off of my eyes. The seeming problems that I thought were unfixable, melted away. Without me doing any significant work to make them go away. I trusted my subconscious mind, to put it simply. This is why, I invite everybody on this channel to question their own mind. It is often keeping you blind to what really is going on. And what is really going on is simply more than you could ever fathom. It is by design. So that the divine can experience infinite experiences through you. Try this, next time when you try to talk to someone new. Don't think, just go with the flow. Let it be all on autopilot. Basically in anything really. Go with the flow. Think less and choose more. That is, what do you want to experience in life? You want to have abundant life. Affirm that I am enjoying an abundant life right now. Just encourage such thoughts in your mind. No need to think about how. 
That is the same mental trap that you have been falling into. Just suspend reason for a while and choose what you want to experience. And then trust your subconscious mind to do its thing. This trust is built over time. So, begin to trust it in small things. Like having new interactions with new people. Just allow it to take the wheel in communication. Trust it to get you that job offer that you want. Trust it to give you surprises like free food and gifts. Trust it to bring happy surprises in your life. Trust it to make things just work for you in your day-to-day -day life. Allow it to ride the flow of the universal laws. And you will be delighted to see how things turn out. I for one can say this, it has made me free. This was my biggest desire a few years ago. And it has come about in the most comfortable of ways. The version of me those few years ago could never have predicted what I am right now. Neither would he have ever figured out how to do it. He tried as I mentioned before. And he failed miserably. So, I invite you to encourage your higher self to drive your life from here on. Try it, trust it in simple matters, and build your faith in it like that. And soon you will be pleased by what you will see. If you are wondering what are these laws of the universe that I am talking about then watch this video next. It will help you understand one of the most fundamental laws of being that completely changed my life.